Hey y'all, how's it going? I, uh, I've been waiting a long time for more Dark Souls games in my life, so it's a pretty exciting day for me. I had to uh, resist playing yesterday so I could do uh, the Warzone, Warzone night with my buddies, which is always one of the highlights of my week, so, you know, don't get it twisted, y'all, but um, now it's time for Elden Ring. So, um, I'm just making sure everything is cool. I did my last tech checks, I think. Yeah, so. the game will be a little bit harder to mess with stuff while you're playing. Yes, <laughs> yeah, if something's wrong, it's going to take yeah. work to get it done, to get it back to where it needs to be. So, um, hi, Stacey. hi, Stacey. Rachel says hi. Rachel says hi to everyone. Um... Elden Ring, brutally difficult, uh, excitingly difficult, brutally, excitingly difficult. Uh, you know, uh, before I start, can you give me a water? Oh, thank you. Gracias. Except 
I, I read all those terms, by the way, just so you guys know. to connect into my land before I started, but we should be good. If it gets freezy, I might have... To... No, it's in. It's plugged in. I just haven't switched from the Wi-Fi to the landline, and I don't want to... Uh... I guess now's the best time to experiment with it. If it fucks up, I'll be right back. But, uh... There we go. We should be good. <laughs> All right, let's see. Performance setting, pr prioritize frame rates, prioritize quality, visual quality or frame rate. We want frame rate. Visual quality is always great, but nobody wants to uh, have the game not keeping up. I guess I should turn my phone off so you guys don't hear it. Not off, but down. Everyone attending the show, please turn your cell phones down. Put them on vibrate or turn them off. Remember that? We used to go to the movies, guys. And they used to say things about turning your cell phones off. Uh, now when you go to a movie, people probably just have their fucking cell phones right out in front of their faces, I would guess. If people go to movies anymore. Um, adjust the brightness until the image on the right is very visible. Should I have done this before you guys came on? Yes, but I also didn't want to turn it on and have an awesome little cutscene and have people miss it. You know what I mean? So... Here we are. All right. Ooh, there's a lot of... Hey, thank you very much, Soul Graphic. Uh, that's cool. I'll, uh, I'll definitely look into it when the stream's over. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Um... All right, where to start? Where to start? Warrior, hero. So I have to. We pick a starting class, and uh, the, <laughs> look at that helmet the prisoner has on with the one eye off. The wretch kind of has a cool little undie undie thing. Um, I might. I'll probably start as. A hero, I suppose. What do you think, Rachel? How's it going today? Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. People were saying, do yourself a favor and start as a wretch, but I have a strange feeling that has to do with, like, struggle very difficultly in the beginning. I'm not a spellcaster. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking hero might be the way I roll. Yeah, then you can go blue and be like, or warrior. The warriors of the Bhagavan. Yeah. I'll start with hero. And we will be a lady this time. A medallion. All right, so I choose a keepsake to start with. A medallion inlaid with crimson amber increases maximum HP. The gold of grace shining in the eyes of the people of the lands between. He used to gain many rewards. That might be nice. Uh, two stone keys shaped like swords breaks the seal of imp statues. Can only be used once. Attracts enemy aggression. So you can make the game even harder on yourself if you'd like to right from the get-go. <laughs> um, and also, again, thank you, Soul Graphics, for the follow. I appreciate it, man. That's awesome. Or lady. Man or lady. Uh, I suppose I will start with... The Golden Seed. I'm... Yeah, the Stone Sword... Key, sword... Sword. I'll do the golden seed. Um, choose base template. This doesn't change my origin, though, huh? 
Wow, they have the Nightfolk and Draconian stuff on there. That's interesting. That yeah, lady, they all got abs. Uh, age, mature. We'll go with mature. <laughs> Check out that voice sampling, y'all. Uh, whoa. I don't know why, but I always like to pick the hair that I like before I pick everything else. There's some pretty dope hair right there. I want like a... I wanted like a long braid is what I was looking for, but I don't know if I see one. She ripped. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ah, there we go. Yes. That's what I was looking for. Let's make that luster strong. Does that mean how luminous it is, Rachel? What's luster mean? Hair luster. Oh, it changed by 10. There we go. Uh, may, yeah, look. It it's like, makes it like shiny. Yeah. Sheen. Sheen. Root darkness. Now oh, we'll keep those dark roots with that dark hair. White hairs. Oh, yeah. Okay, Rachel, right, that's your hair soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, very soon. Like within the, Yeah, within Rachel's the hair is whitening. She's beautiful. It looks quick. great. It's not a problem in, by any stretch of the imagination. It's just well, that's what's happening. Holy smokes. I will try and keep this character creation thing to a minimum, but it might take me a second. You know, I've never actually played as a female in these games before. Um, a lot of it has to do with just like, I like to make myself, you know, but we won't do it this time. Yeah, I like her with her brow. Oh, that's her forehead ratio <laughs> I was like yeah I like her brows down she looks fierce but then I realized it's just like her forehead increasing like increasingly pushing down on her face line, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Customization yeah. Thank you. A lot better than that golf game that we played. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rachel and I play PGA Tour. Oh, nice, guys. I'm glad you guys are just cuddled in. I guess I've been so excited to play this game for so long. Your family saw it at Christmas. Remember? We were trying to make it better. It was just getting weirder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we made Rachel. and She's like a <clears throat> very, very, very middle-aged lady. Nostril slant. I don't really. Uh. She looks so unhappy with her mouth. She it? does. I don't think this is a very happy place, though. No, we want to keep that. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, inverted nose. Mouth express. Oh, I can make her happy. Well, Sorta. Of. <laughs> That's about how I even picture. <laughs> yeah, this is Rachel looking at the ocean. <laughs> I love it out there. It's beautiful. <laughs> I guess this could technically. Uh, I should have made her Adela. I should have made her my oh, D and D yeah. character, oh, Adela Norna. Now nah, it's too late. Now. I might oh, still call her Adela though. Your 
Yeah, she, well, Adela had like blonde hair with blue and purple and stuff. So I don't know. She died it. Facial balance. I know. God, now that I think about it, yeah, I probably... Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Key cap. Kai cap. That's the hardest part. You see people's names and you're like, man, I hope I don't mispronounce this terribly wrong. Skin luster. Oh, I can make my lady shiny too. I like her without, li well, I guess she would be kind of sweaty, man. It's a pretty bad situation we're in. I give her some dark circles, but not as much as she had. Oh yeah, this is where I'm at. <laughs> Rach looking at the ocean is a whole mood, she says. <laughs> I've never seen anybody look so unhappy to be at such a beautiful place. It's the best thing in the world. But I am happy. Yeah, she's I such a happy so lady. Good. Like, it's not like, you know, that's how she actually is, but. Where so, wait a second. Can you move the placement? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. No, it says face hair. So, that's a facial tattoo, this lady. Oh, yeah, you're just on the face hair one. Yeah, bodies. Where's... I can make her not as muscly. But... Standard. I like standard, yeah. <laughs> Body hair color. Make her a not shavy lady. Which is fine. I'll bulk her up just a little bit. Alter body. No, no tattoos. On the body. But maybe, watch this, let's see. Like this one here that I like right that. We'll go like this. Vertical, so we'll move it down. And then we'll expand it. And then also drop it down a little bit. Expand it just a little more. We'll go back and make it. Yo. That looks pretty fucking cool. <laughs> oh man, these are all gonna be so cool. Yeah, she's a, she's gonna be a bad bitch. She's gonna ruin the land. I kind of like that one too a lot. Yeah, that looks nice. The eye marks right there. Like that one's cool. dope too. I don't know. What do you think? The dots or the lines? Can you give her like more than one? Mom loves the tat. Uh, no, I can't. I don't think. I know. I wish I could layer them up. That'd be sick. What do you think? I don't care. <laughs> I think they're all cool. It doesn't really matter. I kind of like... I think I like the lines. Boom. 
I don't mean it looks more like my character. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I love it. I wish I could make more. I can't, okay. Let's see if I can do what I want to do. Nope, no cheeks color. But I want to take this. Why? It's dope. Cause you don't even like makeup in real life. I don't. Not like <laughs> not on. Uh, if but if you're a warrior, put that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Put that shit on. No offense, everybody. Wear your makeup if you wear your makeup. It's just fucking. See, that's why I don't ever do a guy. Because, like, I mean, look. I'm no offense to, you know. Look at this thing. Right? It's down to my chest. And every time there's a beard in a game, it's only, like, right down to somebody's chin. And that's why I never make dudes anymore. Can't even make them with cool beards. All right. Let's save her to my favorites. Hmm. What to name her? I mean, you could name her Adela, but she doesn't really look like Adela. No, she doesn't look like Adela. She doesn't have that Adela spirit. So now I gotta think of a real quick name. Asmir, that's her name. Oh fuck, I almost thought I just fucked everything up. Okay. Let's do it, Asmir. Time for Asmir to run the gambit, yo. The 
mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask, Fear, the Deathbed Companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Othmir, the All Knowing. would again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. Oh shit. All right, a couple of things I feel I have to explain before I start moving about, just hold that so I don't accidentally push the trigger. Once I accidentally killed somebody in this game and once you do that, you can't change that. Um, so. This game, Annika, please be careful. This game is super light on story. Um, I was talking about this the other day, but uh, I think when I read about this Dark Souls, you know, I've been a Dark Souls fan for years, and uh, the guy who created the series grew up reading like Western books, but he didn't know like all the English, so he was filling in gaps as he went along and he kind of I guess thought that was an interesting way for stories to be told and so he tells stories very vaguely this team tells stories very vaguely and like the information on item descriptions and stuff is basically what tells you what's happening so uh there I, I presume I think there will be cut scenes that probably will be more like mainstream since it's a bigger game but just so y'all are aware uh if there's a point where you feel like you have no idea what's happening in the story uh probably none of us do I would guess. Anyways, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Now let's kill some guys. By the way, praise this message. Time for Elden. Let's do it. How do I applaud this message? Hell yeah. All right, so I'm guessing the formula is the same. Roll it. Ice, shield, parry. Okay. Oh my god, dude. It's so cool to have a new Dark Souls game to play. <laughs> Tarnish Wicked Wizened Finger. Through the path be broken and uncertain. Claim your place as Elden Lord. Though. Yeah, that person has to pick up. Yeah, they do. Um, status menu. So I need to figure out what that finger was. Presumably it just lets me go back to my last. Oh, this is how I write messages to other people. Dope. Read message. Time for death. 
that's the opening message in the first couple seconds, so that means somebody's here. So the blood stains on the ground you see here are where other players have died. <laughs> Liar ahead. So. Too dark. All right, hold on. I got to pull up my... Uh, Stream controls. Oop. Oh no. It'll come back. Hold on, everybody, for just a second. Okay. Everything back. Is that better? A little brighter? Let me know again. I'll turn the brightness up the other way on the game instead of going through the capture card because that was almost a nightmare. Any hoozles. Liar ahead, it says. So. Pres I'm not going to do that. Whoa. Yeah, look at the tree, is basically what saying. Praise the Elden Ring. How do I emote? Never, I've learned in Dark Souls games never to uh, try and figure things out close to the edge until you accidentally roll off the goddamn. Okay, that's how I gesture. There's, I'm sure there's an abbreviated button for it, but I am. This door is blocked shut, okay. Oh, I can jump, that's pretty wild. Behold, great tree, it's like a dream, yeah. <laughs> Someone said there's a hidden path because there's so there's walls that are invisible in this game and you hit them they disappear. So somebody obviously wrote that there was a hidden path right there and people have been chopping away at the wall. So someone else came and was like, don't trust this person. No. All right, I'm going to ignore people for now. Luck. Try gesturing. I don't want to do any of that. Oops. I don't want to do any of that. Okay, he is literally just like try gesturing. I'm done reading messages. Man. Other people are doing. They're as suspicious as I am that there's stuff around. Alright. Let's go find some bad boys. That's how I run. Yep, and this looks like a place where I fight some stuff. Oh, right away.
he killed me. <laughs> I think maybe I was supposed to die. Um, Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. I need to get her a new top. It's not very effective armor. <laughs> Flask of Crimson Tears. All right, that's how I get my health back. Cerulean Tears is probably my magic, I would presume. Didn't expect that, how not? Somebody who's never played before. Brave Tarnish, take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recar the arts of war in your warrior's blood. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Sites of Grace. So these are essentially the campfires where you uh, can rest. Touch Grace. day what the hell <laughs> ah a bad bite I can actually kill so boy <laughs> armament in your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks guarding oh yeah that's telling me how to use my shield <laughs> I already know <gasps> ow inside my swing he stabbed me right in my face yeah I already know hey buddy <gasps> It's nice of them to give you a few guys to boost your confidence. Because some people, after playing that first boss, were probably like, I'm done. Ah, oh, hey, fucker. Oh, a guy with a shield. Oh, this is a person. Oh. 
Each hand can be equipped with one of three armaments. Yeah, okay. Do something, asshole. He must have died with only the memories of how to hold his shield. I should probably uh, figure out how to recharge my health, but oh shit, that guy's ghost scared the hell out of me. I guess we'll figure that out later. Oh, it's shorter than I thought. <laughs> I can just go in with fists. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does not. Not a good idea. Can I double? Ooh, that was a fancy move. Skilled. I think that might be how I. Oh. Did it say L2 for skilled? Oh, the parry. How was I doing this? That fancy move where I was jumping in the air. Anyway. Really something. How do I crouch? I already forgot. Oh, just like that. Sneaky, sneaky boy in the bushes. But I'm not. Stance breaking, okay. Yeah, what is it? The jump? Pretty effective. I'd say. Upon dying, you'll be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there is a stake of Marika near where you died, can choose to be revived there instead. Marika, Marika. Okay, time to fight this guy again. I think. Oh no. Oh, something different. All right, Godric. You can perform a counterattack immediately left you. Okay, blocking. Sorry, Godric, you never stood a chance, boy. I guess now I can figure out how to... Oh, 
There we go. The other flask, the magic one. May as well leave it in my pocket. I'm never touching it. You know what I mean? Strength. Hey, wait a second. This is where that old man is that told me to drive down the pit. The ghost boy. I want to push him. Oh, that's just the tutorial area, though. Yeah. Yeah. Now I can go where I want. I don't need your pin, Yan. I do what I. Tutorial areas, sort of. <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> like level of ease. Now the first tutorial in Dark Souls, one, you like run through this area and these fucking guys push a big rock down at you. Then you have to face a demon and you run away from him. This game is supposed to be more accessible though. Not. It's not I mean, there's always like your level one guys who are not as difficult. Oh, here's a resting spot. I know they're not resting. What did I name my girl again? Asmir. Secret ahead. There is not. I tried. Force field. That appears to be <coughs> I need a drink of water. Stone sword key. I don't have one. Oh, I see. That was like the thing that was available to me in the early part, the stone sword key. Oh, and you chose like golden. I think I could play this with my buddies. What'd you say, Rachel? And you chose like golden. Yeah, that reinforced my flasks. At every wall now, people have written, there's a secret here, I can already tell. Look at every fucking passageway. way. Uh. Upsie daisies. I don't need your up hidden yawn. Still no hidden path. Alright, fuck these messages. Excuse me. Did that guy just praise the door? Oh, that's how you open the door. So, this little side story. Yeah, they can hurt me. Um, as far as I understand it, George R.R. R. Martin wrote this script and gave it to uh, the team, and then they did whatever they wanted with it. Or he like wrote the ideas for it, and then he gave the ideas to the team. What are these, like squirrels? Rodent says unusual. So come here, boy. Yeah, they are. 
thin beast bones, sliver of meat. Huh. It's a brave new world out here, guys. I don't even know where to go. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a little overwhelmed at this second. Birds. They look kind of like bats, don't they? guy with a creepy mascot not be the first thing I want to see when I roll out grace exists to guide the tarnish and lead them along the proper path even now some sites of grace retain their power that power their golden rays will guide you along the way oh so it, this will tell me kind of which direction I'm supposed to be going Hi, weird fucking oh, guy. Yes. Tarnished, are we? Come yeah, to the lands like? between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength. <laughs> I'm of never wounds, without maidens, you know what I'm saying? An invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems. I have a hood on. To die in obscurity. Sweet. Thank Luckily you, guys. for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me. Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow even if it leads you to your grave. Fantastic. Take me a second just to find the perfect balance for this game. This thing's like fucking cheaper. Pretty slow. Then beast bones, that's all. Ah, oh, it's weird to be in a world where not everything's openly hostile towards you in this game, and I'm just slaughtering them. Sorry. I kinda wanna go down there, you see that? I'm not supposed to be going this direction yet, but... Oh! Never mind. We'll go back this way. I know, look at the moon. guy with the big knight sword, right? He doesn't seem that cool. I 
I did not. That's too busy looking at this guy. I'll try and sneak past him this time. How's it going today? Thanks for dropping by. You were the last sight of the grave that you Okay, good thing I didn't pick anything up. Okay. Okay. In each area, you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at the summoning pool. So I think it's just basically a spot where you can go to easily summon buddies. I think so. It seems like there's kind of a couple different ways to do it. Hey, Tree Sentinel. Yeah. Nothing, man. Nothing. Just trying to... See that. Well, I want my souls, though. I'm leaving stuff behind. <laughs> Alright. I guess I'm just going to avoid that whole situation for now. I see a guy on a horse, which makes me think maybe I should just go on with the story and avoid fighting that guy for half a second. See what happens then. What is this? A rune fragment. Also, I quite quite clearly don't have the uh, like <laughs> equipment right now to deal with that. Because even when I put my shield up, he still knocks off a quarter of my health if he hits me. Right. Okay, this is where I'm supposed to go. You can instantly travel to any sites of grace that you discovered. However, there are some dungeons in other areas where this can be done. Yeah, that makes sense. Arrest. That looks like Santa Claus. Strengthening armaments. At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Somewhere in the lands between, you might meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, don't kill the blacksmith. I did that once on accident. Let's 
strength in that. I don't have anything. I can't strengthen it because I lost all my souls dying to that guy. I can see it, but I can also see that you're not after my throat. Nah. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. Hi, Carly. I am of a nomadic people. I like his uh, as I travel. The like land hand has on been a stick there. By madness since the shattering of the See Elden that? Ring, it's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Back scratch it. All right, let's see what this guy's got. Crackpot arrow. Oh, I could use this armor. I'm gonna need to get some Goodbye stuff. Goodbye for now. I just need to make my axe a little stronger. I forgot I can be sneaky. He's not the guy I need to fight, though. Oh, they only give me five. Yeah, that's all my points over there for all the things I've killed so far. get my stuff and avoid a conflict with him again? God damn it. Yeah, it's way down there. We'll find out how good the stealth system is here. Love his shield with the vines and shit wrapping around it. Run! Uh, every there's kind of a classic trade off for every class, so yeah, the wretch probably. Well, I'm not sure what the wretch, I don't know. All right, let's strengthen that battle axe. I guess let's... Oh, I need more smithing stones. What is it? Do you have smithing stones? have that armor though. You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. That sounds pretty Essential good. really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts. After all. What? <laughs> that you don't want your customers to die. Yep. It's 
pretty solid sales uh, sales pitch. Goodbye for now. Right. I need you alive to support the economy. And isn't that what being in the working class is all about? <laughs> All right. Let's go kill some stuff. Ask me. Like this guy. He's begging to be killed. Look at him. How stupid he is. How slow he moves. I guess I'll keep going this way because that guy was slow. A boar. God, I thought it was going to attack me, but it didn't. I'm kind of an asshole, huh? Just killing stuff that doesn't deserve to be killed. Something's like tingling. Hmm. Oh, it's this. What the fuck? It's like a matzo ball. Teardrop scarabs. There are both crimson and cerulean teardrop scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flash that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flash than the maximum. Amount of flash. Okay. Huh? Did you see something, guard? Oh, guard. Come on, man. Be cool. Be cool. Ouch. That'd be cool. Try to tell him. On. I can throw them at people. See, watch. Got him. What an idiot. A golden ruin? What does that do? Inventory. Golden seed. I don't know what the hell I just picked up. Anyways, I almost have enough money to go buy new armor, which would be pretty swell. The message, <laughs> the message at the outside of the cave says, "Cave." Heck, 
I don't think I want to go in there yet. So if I die, I lose all the souls I've collected or whatever they're called. Glory pieces, glory bits, whatever they are. So if I do that, I lose them all. So I probably want to go kill somebody and then try and go get that armor. Here's another one of these. What the hell is this thing? Oh, that one's not shiny like the other one was. There's a bad boy standing down here. This this camp right here is begging to be cleared out. It's just these slow boys. Come here, slow boy. Ow. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you slow. Don't stab me in the chest again. Oh, you are slow. See that? Got around to your backside. How many do I have? 992. I need a thousand. Maybe I can give my lady some actual freaking armor. But like, don't get me wrong, she's ripped and her stomach be looking great. But it's like, you know, let's be a little more practical, can't we? Look at this guy. What do you want to do? Huh? Catch this kukri. Right in your face! Oh my god, is that a bear? A wolf? What the fuck? A couple wolves. Dogs in Souls games are dangerous. Hiya! Come on, Bucky. That's the strat right there. You gotta lure them out one by one. I wish I could pick my Kukri's back up. Like, they're right in his back. I saw it. Okay, so. Now I'm gonna run back to the uh, altar there. Find myself a shirt. women am i right you're like have a little freedom and then they're like we don't have to wear clothes <laughs> right rachel <laughs> just joking but the practicality of not wearing armor in a battle with swords is not smart just gotta say asmir so we're gonna get you a shirt one of my least favorite things too when you see like old viking shows and shit and like there's people in like little Brawlet, leather brawl. It's like, yeah, right. These are like a highly civilized group of people, you know, who like raided and pillaged basically to survive. You don't think they found some chainmail on the ground and they were like, this chainmail would be better than my bra, my leather bra. Yeah, no leather bra for laggard though. Of course. You're back. I would like to purchase. Oh, it's 1500? No way. Dude, what a fucking dunce Goodbye. I am. Now I have to go find more things. I'm tempted to go fight that stupid guy again. Yeah. I'm gonna try it once I get myself a shirt. I'm gonna go fight him. I thought you were taking on it, right? No, because then I'd have to try and sneak back in there. Souls games used to have like the, uh, when you traveled between places, you used to have the stamina on too. So you could run that long. They turned it off for like between fights right now, which is dope. What the fuck was that? Come 
somebody. I hate killing wolves, but he is. Look at him ambling too. Come on, buddy. Oh. He doesn't. He turned his back. Watch out, that wall is ferocious. There we go. I know, I'm trying to get out of the range of the wolf to see. Okay. I know, I start mumbling too when I'm like focused. I know I have to talk, but I'm like, I gotta pay attention to what's going on, so I do start mumbling just a wee bit. Still need 300 souls. Come on, wolf, I know. Sucks. Sucks it had to be this way, but you didn't want to let it go. Who is that girl I see? Nice fire. Ooh, he's got a war horn he just blew. I'm not used to that level of coordination. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh man, it's really not good. Oh shit. Oh man, they're they're getting the strategy together. Yeah they are. I said there was not this level of coordination in previous Souls games. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is while well, they're all scrambling. Take advantage of them. Oh, wait a second, Rob. I think that I can eat those. <clears throat> oh, a smith. Oh, mic level's good, or it should go down a little bit more, too. I can do whatever. So I should be able to... Oh, whoops. What the fuck was that? Oh. Okay, so I still need to kill some people. Mike level's great. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I get, you know, you get dialed in and you're like trying to still talk, but you're like, all right, there's five guys right there. You wonder where your buddy went? He did. Almost have enough now. Okay, I'm gonna throw a knife here, but it's not gonna be for any purpose other than to draw this guy out by himself. Oh, and I fucking missed. Look at them both. I heard something. Okay, there's still four left. Five left. Six left. Yeah, I'll take this guy who's alone. Hey, buddy. See those moves? The roll followed by the jump. 
Hey -o. I ain't worried about it. Come on, buddy. Just me and you now, Buck. Should have blown your horn. Yeah, it's a smithing stone. Tight. I can upgrade my uh, axe. So there's another guy up here by himself. And then this last guy is going to be like the big guy, you know what I mean? I'm trying to read that message. God damn it. Why do I keep doing that? And up. <laughs> Thank you. There was another guy isolated out here by himself, I saw. No, there was a guy patrolling right down there. Oh, his buddy, he's standing over there with him. There's, there's... There he is. I accidentally pressed the wrong button, in case you guys couldn't tell. Hello, sir. Break his uh There we go. Foolish of you, sir. Drag him away. Ouch. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Come on, buddy. It's just me and you now. He's too filled with grief. Too filled with grief to notice me. Oops. I lied. He's not. Oh, he's a wild man. Stabbed him in his butt, though, so. Even wild men don't like to be stabbed in the butt. Okay, bucko. Yep, 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 don't back yourself into a corner. There we go. I greatly admire your hat. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish will replenish your flask. The number and type of flask to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flask than your maximum amount of last. Okay. So I have three flasks again. Dope. There's my first uh, camp clear out. This is the school I was seeing earlier. What is this? Every 
another one. A map. Here I am. Oh my goodness. Groveside Cave, church, that's the church. All right, tight. There's a little underground section too, so maybe this is a little treasure. A little treasure spot. Okay, just so everyone knows, in other Souls games, there's they're called mimic chests, and they uh, you reach in there to grab something, and they kill you. They sprout legs and arms. Yeah, they munch your head off. Uh, with a whetstone knife, you can use the Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armaments type determines what skill it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted to ones. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. This way, you can alter an armament's attack affinity, boost attribute scales, and more. An armament's type depend determines what affinities it can have. Some special armaments, like those with unique skills, cannot be granted new affinities. Okay. Dope. Time to go back to the... Well, let me like, check, make sure there's nothing else around. A smoldering butterfly. My favorite kind of butterflies. Herba. Herba. Speaking of herba. What is this? <laughs> That's what it says. Praise. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Praise the jumping. Yep, I gotta say, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, no, no jumping. Except Sekiro. Sekiro. What a fucking awesome game. I love me some some Soulsborns. So basically also, the reason I haven't rested is because when you rest, everything you've killed except for bosses return. So like all those guys I just killed in that field, if I go lay down here, they will come back. Is it? Purchase. Yeah, buddy. Give me that chain armor, yo. Goodbye. Nice to do. Nice to do business with you too. Where's my? Oh yeah. Now it looks super cute. Boost that battle egg. Wait. Where's my defense? Guard boost. Yeah, it doesn't increase that at all. So it's time to just up the axe. Listen to that jingle jangle. I still have 400. Alright. So then what's the move here? I don't think those guys I just fought are like so difficult. I think I'll probably rest. 
I might try and fight Big Boy out here. My confidence has raised trauma dramatically. Traumatically. I'm very confident now. It's pretty cool. Man, look down there. Whoa, look at that big thing on the beach. What the fuck is that? You see it moving? There's a couple of them. See, I keep finding these golden ruins, but then when I go in a Info.gov. Oh, right here, duh, Rob. You idiot. Oh yeah. Huh? It gives me uh, like extra souls or whatever. Extra grace, so I can buy more stuff. I'm back. Look at that donkey, or whatever. What is it? Does he kind of remind you of Cash? I'll take ten of these daggers. Goodbye. Oh, when he was suggesting what? the craft kit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would suggest that. If you have the funds. What is it? Maybe I should buy that crafting kit though, 300. Leggings. I'm gonna buy these chain leggings. Goodbye. And I'm gonna go murder this stupid fuck next to me. Then, then I'll use that, I'll get stuff from him. Or, 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 he's gonna pummel me into my grave. We'll find out. You can, like, lose your stuff when you die, right? Well, if I, if I, yeah, that's what I mean. I only have. 194. I fucking. I love these games. Ashes of War. Storm Stomp. I don't. I don't want to do that. All right. How long have you been freezing, Stacy? That how. Started, but it's the maybe that everything will just mellow out. I'll uh go ahead after the little break. Maybe it's just like a temporary glitch, so we'll give it a couple minutes to settle down. And uh, this might be like where I'm streaming time too. Right? Yeah, it is uh like one o'clock in the afternoon here on a Saturday so there's probably a lot of people around it's really nice outside so we might have the weekenders starting to come we'll see what happens when we get back um, so uh, go get yourselves something to eat go get yourself something to drink whatever you gotta do and we'll be back in like five minutes so. okay
everything when I get back later. Uh, thanks for considerable futures.